Chernobyl has been the subject of many predictions and speculations of hundreds of thousands dead. Nearly 20 years later, the death and environment toll is less than feared. 4,000 people may eventually die from radiation exposure caused by the nuclear plant disaster, said the summary of a Tudor Chernobyl forum. Spearheaded by the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, the forum has brought together nuclear, health and development experts who finally reached consensus on the legacy of the worst civilian nuclear accident ever. Well, I think it, it, it tells people what the, the numbers really are, that the, there's, there's no speculation in that. There is some uncertainty in the values, but it's, it's very close around the 4,000 mark for cancer deaths, and, and the other speculations are just not valid. Fewer than 60 deaths were linked to radiation. Almost all highly exposed firefighters and rescue workers carved in stone in this monument who died within months of the accident. Some 4,000 cases of thyroid gland cancer have been recorded since the disaster, mostly children and adolescents up to the age of 18 at the time of the accident. But the survival rate has been almost 99%. The largest public health problems were psychological effects and misconceptions about the threat of radiation, resulting in paralyzing fatalism among the residents of affected areas. Shifting programs away from just paying benefits to creating opportunities for development, particularly in the rural areas that degraded due to social and economic depression, is highly recommended. And what we advocate is at the national level, uh, policies that really we advocate in all three, three of the countries generally, policies that encourage investment, that encourage the formation of small businesses, particularly in these areas of small family agricultural businesses. While some areas remain highly contaminated and restricted, the majority of previously contaminated land is considered safe. Nature healed its wounds and wildlife proliferated, especially in restricted areas. The people of Chernobyl are moving on with their lives now that health and environmental issues are settled. This report was prepared by Vadim Muchkin for the United Nations.